Hi, my name is Dr. Olivia Moses and welcome to my channel. Today's segment is especially made for all of you high school students that are about to graduate. Now, it can be a little bit scary when you don't know what the next step should be or if you are applying to college or if you're just trying to survive to see if you can graduate. So I thought I would call in an expert on this one and he is my guidance counselor and he agreed to come in and talk to you. So today, we're going to be giving a message to all of you high school students. Here is my vice principal and guidance counselor and yes we look alike because he's my dad. So the first question I have dad if they are going to apply for college what are colleges really looking for in a college application? When you're looking at that college it is important that what they are looking for for admission and therefore you should be prepared to look at their requirement and take your high school classes accordingly. So it is important that you look into their program or, or the major you are planning to take and take those classes as necessary. If a high school student feels like they don't know what to do, who to ask, and if at home they're getting advice from their parents or sometimes they might not be able to get advice from their parents, what does a guidance counselor do or vice principal or who can they ask at school? I had a good one, but who, if they don't know who to talk to, who should they ask? They definitely need to go to their high school counselor, the college counselors that are there at high school and they are a good source where you can get a lot of information not only on what uh, courses, what field to take but what preparation you need in order to go into college. So the big take home message there is, there is help for you, so ask for help. You do not have to go this alone. So a next question, Dad, is what if I'm getting really bad grades? What advice would you have for the student who is really just not doing well? It is important that you really have some aim in life as to what you want to do and you need to strive towards those goals and taking the courses and study hard. High school is a great time for you to have friends and have a good time but the main purpose is to, for you is to gain education in high school and if you are not doing well you need to buckle down and get help get extra help from the teachers or friends in order to do well in that subject. Wonderful. And it's important for all of you high school students out there to know, especially if you're ones that you might be discouraged because you're not doing well in school and not getting good grades, the studies do show that having a high IQ or being able to learn easily and quickly does not predict academic success or success in life. So just because you feel like your friends are smart and so they're gonna just be successful and you are not, that is an absolute lie. So don't, don't, don't believe it. What we do see is people who stick to it, who don't give up, who actually, there's a term um, in the literature called grit, when you kind of just dig your he um, heels in and just do the work and strive the, for the very best that you can, that actually predicts more success than having a high IQ. So please, don't lose heart, you can do it. Study hard, don't take easy subjects, Take full-time uh, courses in your senior year, junior year. Make sure that you have full load and not goof up just by saying I have finished, I have just one course to graduate and just take one. That is not what colleges look for. So the take home message is to have fun, study hard, take this time and use this time wisely to actually set building blocks for your future because this is the time to do it. This is the time to broaden your mind, to be excited about your education and the next steps. And remember graduation is not necessarily the end of all things. It is the end of maybe a step of your journey, but the beginning of an entirely new wonderful step in life. On behalf of my dad, 
my guidance counselor, and me, Dr. Olivia Moses. Thank you so much for joining us in my channel. I didn't like that. First, um, hi, my name is... So... Okay. Okay. Is that good? How does that look? Better? I can't see where I'm at. You don't have your glasses on because it's of the okay. lights. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. What do you... Do you think we look alike, though? <laughs> see, I, think, <laughs> I think we do. <laughs> That's what people say. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's for sure. Yeah. What? I can't see. Okay. 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 We're good. <laughs> doing this. Mm -hmm. You have some lipstick on there. Okay. If you'd like to see more, feel free to stay a while and see my other videos. And you will see our new segments on interviews when I call in experts like this one to give you advice on how to live a better, healthier, and happier one. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video.